Okay, good morning. Jeff Light here with our daily look behind the news from the Union Tribune newsroom. This morning we're speaking with biotech writer Bradley Fikes. Bradley, over the weekend, uh, quite an interesting development. Uh, uh, a lawsuit pitting uh, J J two of J. Craig Venter's companies against one another with him caught in the middle with uh, uh, yeah. a long list of particulars of uh, what are alleged to be missteps. So take a step back first, yes. though, and just uh, to tell us who Craig Ventner is and then uh, uh, what's going on with his companies. Craig Ventner is one of the leaders in sequencing the human genome. He led a, a, a privately funded effort that basically uh, battled to a draw with the publicly uh, funded human genome project. And it was announced in great fanfare at the turn of the century that they had completed the first genome sequencing. And since that time, the technology has evolved greatly, making companies like uh, Human Longevity, which Venner is a part owner in, possible. And also the work done by the J. Craig Venner Institute, which has done things such as develop a minimal genome uh, for supporting life. He developed a bacterium that has the fewest genes uh, you, that you need to support independent life. And okay, that, so hold on, let me jump in, because yep. don't get ahead of us here. Okay. So, but there's a lot uh, of stuff. Yeah, so Craig Venter, one of the, one of the giants yeah. of modern science, yeah. uh, uh, um, uh, a person who uh, helped usher in this entire new era yeah. of medicine, and who, as you were just mentioning, has also created artificial synthetic life, amazing stuff. Yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, a few years ago, he founded this new company, uh, Human uh, Longevity. Yes. So tell me about that. They wanted to use all the modern technologies, genome sequencing, uh, you know, high-resolution body scanning, uh, you know, every medical tool to zoom in onto the health status of a person. And with the genome, you can tell what are their inherited tendencies to disease, and by assessing their health things like calcium scoring on their blood vessels, they can tell what's your state of health right now and get a better prediction of your likelihood of having diseases or catching them earlier when they happen. Mm -hmm. And it began to be offered at $25,000 a person, so it was aimed at wealthy people, but the idea was they would be able to scale this technology and make it less expensive, just like what happened with sequencing yeah. the human genome itself. Okay, so amazing. Now, uh, there's been a little, uh, some signs of uh, tumult at uh, Human Longevity. Uh, yeah. uh, Venter retired uh, just a, a week or two ago. Yeah, yeah, and before ago. that, there was turnover yeah. in the company uh, president or CEO. And then now this weekend, uh, sort of the other shoe has dropped. Yes, I was on the train to Los Angeles when I got a message from Christina Davis, uh, who covers the courts, and she found this lawsuit, and, and she sent it to me the same day it was filed. So I have to give her the credit because her diligence made all this possible. And what are the allegations of the suit? That who, who is suing whom and what are the allegations? It is human longevity is suing the J. Craig Venner Institute, but not Venner himself, and there, I'm sure there's legal reasons for that, but they're saying in the lawsuit that Venter uh, took property, intellectual property, and physical property that belonged to human longevity after he was uh, fired from the company. They're saying he was fired. Uh, yeah. And That's new also, right? Yes. And he was saying he left. He sent out a rather cryptic tweet in late May that he uh, had left uh, Human Longevity and was returning to the J. Craig Venter Institute. And what they're saying is that uh, there were a number of disagreements about how he was running things and apparently doing things without the board's consent or knowledge or approval. And they finally had a parting of the ways and they said, he was fired, and this company has a lot of investors now, including Illumina and Celgene, other public companies, and they have their own responsibilities along with foreign investors. And so human longevity has grown a lot in its five years of existence. And so while Craig Venner is a co-founder, uh, he doesn't control the company. He's not a majority owner. Mm -hmm. And what has uh, Venter said about these allegations? Uh, he said they're not true through his attorney, that there's numerous factual errors, and they look forward to vigorously dis uh, uh, disputing uh, this lawsuit. You know, that's what we have right now. I am, of course, going to try to get more details. As soon as they're willing to speak, I will uh, write about them. Okay, fantastic. And if you know any of those details, uh, reach out to Bradley and uh, help uh, get him going in uh, the right direction. Uh, anything yeah. else we need to know? 
Well, I would like to uh, talk to uh, Craig Venner himself when it's legally possible because I want to hear him describe what happened. And so if you're watching this, Craig, I do want to hear you and talk with you and write about what happened, what you saw. That's very important to get that, uh, that perspective. Yeah, yeah, well said. Okay, I think with that, uh, we'll be back here tomorrow with uh, uh, perhaps more of what Bradley has dug out and uh, other news as well. See you then.